Hey guys, welcome back to Project Bodybuilding. And this will be my first official episode of my road to the 2024 Mr. Olympia series. Now, what is the series exactly? It's simple. It's about building the hype going into the Mr. Olympia. These are comparison videos, yes, but these are comparison videos done specifically and exclusively with 2024 qualified athletes. Only those who have punched their ticket to this event can be in the series. But yeah, honestly, besides that, there really isn't anything different from my normal comparisons. But given how the Mr. Olympia is the flagship event of body bodybuilding, I wanted to highlight these comparisons and make this series a bit of a flagship for my own channel. And this will be the first official video of the series, although it's not actually episode one technically, because I already have done a few of these videos unintentionally that fit into the series. So those will be retroactively added into the playlist on my channel for the series. So if you guys have some catching up to do, that playlist is available. Anyway, I'm very excited for all these special comparisons for the Mr. Olympia. So let's kick off the first, well, not really the first episode of my road to the 2024 Mr. Olympia. In today's video, we are going to be comparing some of the most aesthetic guys in the current open IFBB. We will be comparing the best Brazilian bodybuilder on the planet right now, Rafael Brandão. He had a strong showing at the Arnold Classic Ohio, and he eventually got qualified about a month later at the Arnold Classic South America. In this comparison, he will be going up against someone hot off two major pro wins this summer, that being Beirut's Tabani. Now, Beirut does have and always has had trouble getting to America for the Olympia. Hopefully, that is not the case this year. Regardless, we are going to run this comparison as if he was guaranteed to be there, and this is going to be a great comparison. Again, both of these guys have stellar shape, but at the same time, they also have a few gaps in their physiques. So I'm very interested to see how this turns out. So let's not wait any longer. Here's Beirut's Dabani versus Rafael Brando. We're going to use each guy's best versions from the year so far. For Rafael, that's the Arnold Classic Ohio where he plays third. And for Beirut's, while I personally prefer the Flex Pro Weekend version, I think the consensus would be that his best version is his latest version, the 2024 Dubai Pro version. This is something that I will address a little more later on though. But if you do want to see that Flex Pro Weekend version compared with with Raphael Brandau, watch Mark's Max Muscles video. He used that version for Beirut's. That is partly why I chose Dubai for Beirut's in this video, but anyway, those are the versions we will be using. Let's cut the intro and jump into the video. If you guys like these types of videos, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more. Like I said, these guys have perhaps the most aesthetic physiques of the current open IFBB. This makes the first couple of poses very, very tough because these shots are all about looking like a statue. In terms of the upper bodies, I'd actually give Beirut's to Bonnie a slight edge. They're both good in the arms, Beirut's are just a bit fuller though, his lats are also a bit fuller, even his waist is a tiny bit smaller. Brandau is right there in terms of these things though. He has good arms and obviously fantastic aesthetics with a good V taper and all of that, but Beirut's just a bit better in these areas, winning him the upper body as a whole, by a hair. But the lower body is certainly a blowout. Beirut's Achilles heel in a few poses are those lackluster quads. They have some okay size overall, but it's still like he needs some more sweep or something. Maybe that's just because he's so wide up top. And it's not just the size and the lacking sweep. Beirut's also has very poor separation. Brandau has literally none of these problems. Strictly speaking about the quads, he may have some of the best in the open IFBB. So for one thing, the question of balance is no question. Brandau schools Beirut's. Beirut still does have that stellar upper body, but Brandau's legs against Beirut's showcase a much bigger gap than their upper bodies do. This is is still very close. I can give this to Beirut's because the upper body is nothing short of awe-inspiring, but I'm going with Brando. Brando has slightly worse upper body shape, but no weaknesses in this shot. He has solid arms, better balance, and great aesthetics in his own right. He's overall more complete and that wins him the pose. It will be a narrow win, however. Since I imagine most of us are split on this one, I'm just going to make it a one-point win for Brando. And get used to those one-point margins, that's all I'm saying. The front lat spread boils down to the same dilemma as the last pose. Both of these gentlemen have fantastic front lat spreads. I would say, however, that Beirut's does have, again, the slightly better upper body. His arms and shoulders have a bit more pop, his chest has a little more detail, again, his waist is slightly smaller, and I'd even give him a slight edge in the lats. So Beirut's takes the most important half of the pose by a little margin. But Brandau wins the legs easily once again while his upper body is still fantastic. You'd be hard pressed to find more than a few front lat spreads better than Brandau's in the modern era. Again, it's coming down to, do you want better balance? or someone who is just slightly better in the more important things. Either way, it's going to be a one point win, just like the last one, this is very close. Now me personally, I would go with Brandau again. However, what I'm going to do, because the first poses are similar and they were both close, I'm going to give the shot to Beirut's by one point. I see arguments for each guy in this one and each of these poses. I do like Beirut's a little more in this one compared to his last shot. And I wanna give each side of those arguments some representation, so Beirut's will take this pose by one point. 
Now we're moving on from the front shots and going to the side chest. And both of these guys remain neck and neck. Structurally, or I guess just from an overall perspective, Raphael's a little more imposing. This isn't exactly just a structural thing, it has to do with the overall posing choices as well. Beirut squats down a lot and turns to the judges a ton. Brandau, on the other hand, is a little bit more upright. This makes him look a little bit better and more imposing from a zoomed out perspective. But that's not exactly the case body part for body part. Beirut wins the side leg on detail, for example. Brandau is bigger for sure, but compared to Beirut, he looks a little soft. Beirut doesn't even look small either. The small quads do not hinder him beyond the front poses. For me, I will take a little less size but more separation here to give Beirut the win. Then in the arm and delt, Beirut looks a little bigger and pops just a little bit more in this picture, but they're really close and I'd bet on a real stage they'd be about the same. And finally in the pecs, this is very close but I'm going with Beirut. Neither of these guys have a ton of detail in this one, but Beirut just looks a little bit thicker. Again though, this is very close. And the entire pose is really. But to me, Beirut has the size to compete with Rafa and the structure, but he has a little more detail in the side leg and slightly bigger pecs, and those things make all the difference. I'm giving this to him by one point. I do think this one could definitely change on a real stage, however, because Raphael is more impressive from an overall perspective. Finally, we have a pose that's pretty easy to determine. No one outside of a few Brazilian fans are going to have Rafael winning the rear double. It's his weakest point for sure. Keep in mind though, I don't think it's as weak as Beirut's weakest point, but more on that later. Anyway, Rafael just lacks the most important thing here, detail. Look at the lower body for one. I know Beirut's isn't super visible here because of the shadows, but there should be absolutely no doubt who is in better condition. Brennau just seems to be carrying a little film of water over his entire body. Beirut's contrasts this with that saran wrapped look. And again, even though Brennau has the bigger lower body, I'm giving the win to Beirut for trading off some of that size for much superior conditioning. And again, even though Brando has the bigger lower body, I'm giving Beirut the win for trading off some of that size for superior conditioning. In the back, it's a similar story but worse for Rafa. We know he doesn't have the detail, and he really doesn't, but it's not just the detail. His back looks flat and flimsy next to Beirut's. Brando clearly needs a little more time in the oven to thicken up and carve those finer details. He does have the width though, Beirut and him are identical in that aspect, but that's a drop in the bucket for Brando. I suppose I can give Raphael the delts, however, However, they're just a little more separated on his physique. Beirut wins the arms though because while they both have good peaks, Beirut's peaks are a little bit thicker. Overall, this is an easy win for Beirut, and in my opinion, he is doing enough for three points. This point system isn't about how good an athlete is necessarily. It's about the margin of victory. If you told me Brando had a better back double than Beirut, i laugh and walk away. It's just too obvious. So while I contemplated two points, it's just too clear that Beirut wins here despite him being far from, again, a Ronnie or Dorian. Beirut does end up making it two for two with the second back pose. Now I will say Brandau is a bit wider. Let's not beat around the bush here. It's true, Beirut is just a little more narrow, but even in the rear lat spread, that's not going to be enough when you lose everything else by so much. Brandau again loses the lower body. I don't need to re-explain myself there. And in the back, he looks flimsy and lacks detail yet again. Beirut has the much bigger traps, the thicker spinal erectors, and even the thicker lats. And his back looks borderline like an anatomy chart. Brandau again is looking soft and smooth, but I will make this pose a little more narrow because Brandau does take width by a little bit, so I think he can peel off some support for himself in this pose, but it's certainly not going to be enough to win. It's not even really a major difference, and Beirut is just better everywhere else. This to me personally is another 3 point win, but I will be a little more objective and narrow it down to just a 2 point win for Beirut. After the back poses, we are going right back to a very close pose, our last side pose, the side tricep. Now both of these competitors have things you can like. Like in the side chest, Brandau being bigger, taller, whatever, he is more imposing. He looks more impressive from an overall perspective, and I bet we'd see that even more on a real stage. But let's break this down a little more. In the side leg, I once again have to give this to Beirut. He's a bit smaller, but that detail is crazy. Keep in mind though, Brandau with just a little bit better conditioning could easily win here since he's already bigger. Now what about the midsection? Well, I just have to go with Rafa. Beirut has tweaked his pose a little bit for the better on this one, but he still needs to show off this asset better. His abs are crazy, we're well aware of that, and right now he's not squeezing the obliques or the rest of the midsection. He's not even really locking in the stomach 100%. It's like he has fake abs over a regular person's midsection. The abs themselves are great, but the midsection as a whole has to go with Rafa. Now, are Raphael's abs more defined than Beirut's? No, but it's an overall thing. He's more streamlined. And going up a little further, Raphael wins the pecs as well. They're just a bit fuller. And with that, he caps out the entire physique nicely, and I have him winning the whole streamlined look thing that I want in this pose. He has a big side leg, the tight waist, big pecs. Beirut has all these things too, but Brandau ties it all together more perfectly. He flows better. And finally, what about the triceps? Well, I would say both are just decent, but I do like how Brandau's is a little more thick and a little more defined. We're talking about just a few percent better in each of these things, but that is enough to win him the area. It's another nail biter here. Beirut has crazy conditioning and overall looks very impressive, but Brandau is winning me over with his streamlined look and better tricep. He'll take this one, but with one point.
The abs and thighs is definitely a mixed bag for either of these guys. Let's just go tit for tat here and compare each namesakes of the pose. We can start with an easy one. The thighs portion is clearly going to Raphael. Beirouz's quads as a whole, I guess, look okay here compared to some of the other poses. He has the advantage of not contending with his upper body and his width like he was in the front double or the front last spread. So you notice the disparity in his balance a little less. You definitely can't get around that lack of detail though. His separation sucks. And I don't think I need to explain why Brandau himself is winning. Now let's move on to the abs. This is definitely Beirouz's territory. For being an aesthetic guy, Brandau's abs really do not impress me. The separation is subpar, and genetically, he has very mediocre insertions. Beirut's midsection is ripped from the obliques to the deeper abs. His lats are also a little more prominent here. I'd say he looks a little more streamlined as well. And with that, we are once again back to what turned out to be the entire debate encompassing this comparison. Do you want Beirut, who has the edge and the slightly more important things, or do you want Brandau, who has the better balance but looks a little less polished and just less stellar? Well, this time around, I have to go with Beirut. I really don't know if that's the right choice, however. He is leaving a lot to be desired in the legs, but me personally, I think the abs do enough to carry him, and I'll always take the more impressive abs over more impressive quads. If Brando had looked a little more impressive in the abs, or even had the conditioning in the midsection like Beirouz, I'd probably go with him, but I had to decide on someone, and right now it's Beirouz. This will not be anything more than one point, however. Even if I had Brando here, it would be by one point. I get it. Scream at me in the comments about how it's the abs and thighs, therefore Brando wins by default because he has both elements. I get it. I'm just a little more wild by Beirouz. I'm going with him. And finally, we have the most muscular, and still on this last pose, it's close. Let's start with a very important, albeit very basic question. Who impresses me more? I have to go with Beirouz. The width in those delts are just insane. I'm immediately drawn to him, and the conditioning is killer too. But Brandau was still very impressive, especially with that newfound size. And in terms of body part for body part, they definitely trade off. Brandau does win the legs, Beirouz takes the midsection by picking a pose that actually shows it off. I'd say Beirouz also wins in the delts too, just for sheer size. I'd even throw the arms in there as well. I would give Brandau the chest, however. He looks a little bit thicker, and I like that split in his pecs. Beirouz's chest is obviously still great though, mainly because of that detail though. Overall, to end this pose and this comparison, I do think both of them can win here. Beirouz has a little more of that wow factor, at least to me, but Brandau is more filled in everywhere. He doesn't have empty quads, and he's not top heavy. But because it's so close, I'm just going to go with who impresses me more. We're kind of still on that same debate that we started with. Do we want better balance but less freak factor and quality, or more umph than the important things at the expense of some of these smaller things? I'm once again going to go with Beirut here simply for impressing me more. This is definitely where a panel of judges would really help because everyone has their own personal preference, and that's kind of what this pose is coming down to, and a lot of others. I can certainly acknowledge this is close though, so Beirut won't be getting far, he will only be leaving this comparison with a one point win. Before we get to the final score, let's take a look at the final areas of my judging, the overall physique categories. I take a look at conditioning, flaws, aesthetics, and muscularity all through a whole physique lens. Let's start with an easy one, shape. I'm not going to sit here and debate this one. This is already a subjective category. There are great arguments for both guys being the more shapely guy. So I'm going to just make this a tie for simplicity's sake. I try not to do this, but you can't not like both of these guys. Both of these guys are just amazingly statuesque. Let's just leave it at that. And I almost had another blank category up until the last minute, that being the flaws category. This one I do leave blank a lot because this is reserved for things like injuries, suspect oil use, bad posing, things outside of the norm. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to dock Beirouz just a little for his posing. Brandau is not a stellar poser either, in my opinion. He can move around a lot at times, but Beirouz has literally lost a show this year because his posing was so bad. He's gotten better as the season has progressed, but he still shakes a lot and can lose balance at times. He just suffers from too many rookie mistakes for me to ignore. Other than that, though, there really isn't anything here, so I'm just going to put it as a one-point win for Brandau. Now let's go to muscularity, and I'm giving Raphael another small win. Here's how I see it. They both have gaps in their physiques. One apiece. For Beirouz, it's the quads, and for Brandau, it's the back. Simply put, however, Beirouz's legs hurt him more often than Brandau's back hurt Brandau. And I just think Beirouz's quads are weaker than Brandau's back is. That is why I'm giving Brandau one point in this category. And finally, we have conditioning, and Beirouz literally wipes out everything Brandau did at the end here and takes the lead in the section of scoring. This is a three-point win. I don't see an argument otherwise. And the thing is, Beirouz has literally been more conditioned this year. But even the slightly softer, more fuller look at the 20 2024 Dubai Pro made Brandau look soft. No one can argue that Beirut not only had better conditioning, but was better by a lot as well. 
Alright, now that we've gone through both phases of my judging, here are the final scores. Beirut did take the victory here with 74.6 points to Brandau's 25.4. Overall, I did expect this to be a little closer on paper, but that did turn out to be the case. However, that doesn't mean that it was not pretty close. All but two of these poses were decided by just one point, and those poses were ones that I felt I was deciding with personal preference because they were coin tosses. So what if I were to change the ones that I thought were the closest? What would happen then? In this scenario, I would give Brandau all the poses of points he already won in the current scenario. But in addition to that, I would give him one point victories in the front last spread, side chest, or most muscular, and the absent thighs. Basically, this is a scenario where I'm someone who broke those ties based on Brandau's superior balance. I wouldn't change the overall physique categories, however, because I think those are pretty objective. So in this scenario, it does get a lot closer, but Beirut would still be winning with about 57 points to Brandau's 43, even with giving him those poses. And I said I would give Brandau the most muscular or side chest since I didn't see myself giving him both, but it turns out that Beirut still has room to lose that pose. Now, why is this happening? It's pretty simple conditioning. Conditioning wins shows, at least it used to pretty consistently. I'm not so sure now, but in my opinion, conditioning should be very important. It's one of the few factors well within the hands of bodybuilders. I think it's important and should be rewarded. And now, not only does Beirut have stellar conditioning, Brandau just straight up doesn't. It would be one thing if Brandau just got outclassed, but still had dugout hams, a detailed lower back, etc. But Beirut took him to school on this one. And Beirut does also have the advantage of having the superior back. A very good back, actually. That's why even in a favorable scenario to Brandau, Beirut would walk away easily with 5-6 to six points in just 2 shots. Beirut also did have a gap, however. He has those pretty weak quads, and I do think they are weaker than Brandau's back. But Beirut does a lot to outshine those between his great shape and stellar upper body features, and of course that conditioning. So overall, as long as Beirut is more conditioned, it's going to be very tough for Brandau to overtake him. And this is coming from someone who likes Brandau more. I like the better balance, and overall he is more appealing to me. But as for the better bodybuilder, that's not him, at least between these two versions at this point in time. Now if Brandau brings great conditioning, I do have him winning. And I'm not even going to say it's close or not if he gets in condition, because it's already close now. With that, I firmly believe that with absolutely no new muscle, but with better conditioning, he would beat Beirut. Brandau is more complete, has the smaller gaps, better balance, and fantastic shape. He would basically have everything Beirut has going for him, but Brandau would also be more well-rounded. So the ball really is in Brandau's court right now. And good news for him, this is well within his control, at least by my estimation. As for now, however, if these two versions are something similar stepped on stage, I believe Beirut's is better back, standout shape, and much sharper conditioning would make him the narrow victor between the two. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. Like I said, a lot of these poses came down to personal preference, and both of these guys represent very large and very vocal fan bases. So please let me know what you thought of this matchup down in the comments. And if you guys like these types of videos and want to see more of the series, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you never miss a video. By the way, if you guys are looking for any high quality supplements, be sure to check out Arms Race Nutrition. Then at checkout, be sure to use my code PROJECT10 for 10% off your entire order. That's code PROJECT10 at armsracenutrition.com. Finally, with all that said, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.